This question here was submitted by one of our beautiful followers. I think his name was Billy. Solve for x, isn't it? 4 to the power of 16 to the power of x equals 16 to the power of 4 to the power of x. Would you know how to do it, Mike? Now, with all problems like this, we want to make sure that the bases are the same. This is base 4, this is base 16. I can rewrite the base 16. Base 16, I can write that as 4 squared. Use a bracket to the power of 4 to the power of x. And at the same time, if you guys wanted to, you could change that 16 to 4 squared. Now, everything apart from that is base 4. So this is 4 squared. But again, you would have to use a bracket here. Now, what are the index rules whereby we have brackets and raised powers? Well, if you have 4 squared in a bracket raised to the power of x, you multiply the powers. And this is a critical mistake that students make in a problem like this. Here, we also multiply. So here we have 4 to the power of 4 to the power of 2 times x, which is just 2x, equals 4. Here, I'm doing 2 lots of 4 to the power of x. Now, these are the same base. So the powers must be the same. So we're left with 4 to the power of 2x equals 2 times 4 to the power of x. Now, the last thing we need to do is, again, change everything so they have the same base. If you want, you can change the 2 to the base 4, or you could change these 4s so that they are base 2. It's up to you. A lot of people would rather change 4 into 2 squared rather than changing 2 to 4 to the power of a half. <laughs> okay, so we have 2 squared to the power of 2x is 2 lots of 2 squared to the power of x. Remember, we're multiplying here. So we have 2 to the power of 4x. Yeah, 2 times 2x is 2 on its own is 2 to the power of 1 times 2. Remember, we're multiplying 2x. Okay, finally, when we multiply two numbers with the same base, we add the powers. So we have 2 to the power of 4x is 2. We have 1 adding the powers plus 2x. Now, finally, we just compare the powers. Now, solving for x, nice and simple. We always bring the smaller x to the large one. We're going to minus 2x from both sides. 4x minus 2x is 2x is uno. Then, finally, we divide both sides by dos. x is 1 half. Nice.